After passing up countless opportunities to say sorry for the ga canceled gas plant situation, Ontario Premier Kathleen Wynne finally fesses up about a fiasco that's costing Ontario taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars. Let's get more information on this now from our very own Rebecca Thompson in our Toronto newsroom. Rebecca. Well, yes, Anita, I was just over at Queen's Park hearing the Premier Kathleen Wynne explain why she finally apologized. Now, just to give you some context, the Ontario Progressive Conservatives started looking into this over a year ago. The cancellation of two gas plants in Oakville and Mississauga uh, for political gain. Now, Premier Kathleen Wynne has been Premier since February and she's repeatedly said that she regrets the situation, but after uh, many have called for her to apologize, finally last night uh, on a public broadcaster in Ontario, 11 times she apologized. And what we heard today, and you'll see in this clip, is, is Kathleen Wynne explaining why she apologized. I was hearing that, you know, that was fine, but there still needed to be my voice um, taking, uh, taking that extra piece of responsibility to apologize. What regret is, is slightly more distance from taking personal responsibility. I think that sorry um, and an apology takes a more personal responsibility. And what I said last night was that it's very important to me that the people of Ontario um, know me and that I know them. Now, of course, there's been a gas plant committee underway for the past couple of months, and former Premier Dalton McGuinty appeared at the committee. Now, Kathleen Wynne stopped short of saying that Premier McGuinty, McGuinty should have apologized. Of course, it was Premier, former Premier Dalton McGuinty last September who said the cost of cancelling these two gas plants was, two, was not $290 million, but in fact, the figure so far has come in more than double that, so far at $585 million, and Anita and Otter the general's report is expected this summer uh, to possibly reveal that the costs are even more. Now, when we heard from Ontario PCs uh, today, they said that uh, Premier Kathleen Wynne had many opportunities to apologize, uh, and and now what they say is that she has the opportunity in front of a judicial inquiry, if it's called, to apologize in front of a judge. Now the Ontario Tories have they want to bring the government down over gas plants in a confidence motion. They're voting today at around 6 p.m. Of course, we'll be tuning in to see whether this confidence vote will actually happen on May 28th. So far, in the NDP in Ontario have been very coy as to whether or not they're going to support this confidence uh, motion and vote, but ultimately it will be up to the Ontario government to green light this vote to happen. What of course we do know in the next couple of weeks, which is important for viewers to know, is that there's going to be a confidence motion in Ontario over the budget. And what we're also going to watch in today, Kathleen Wynne and NDP leader Andrea Horvath at around 2.30 today will meet to discuss whether or not the NDP P will support the minority liberals in this upcoming confidence vote and whether okay. or not, uh, Anita, the liberals will agree to the NDP's growing list of demands. All right. So lot, lots going on today. Absolutely. A lot going on indeed. Thanks so much for this, Rebecca. Thank you.